The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be rocking with all you beautiful people around the globe. Hope you're having a beautiful holidays. Hope life is treating you right. Hope you're smiling and feeling out of sight. Guys, you know, I've had a bit of relaxation from myself, which is something very rare. I've still been, you know, as you guys know, dropping some content, but you know, I haven't been doing 89,000 videos a day. Uh, just needed a little to take it a little bit slow for a moment, you know, kind of give back some love into myself a little bit. I needed a little bit of a break. We've had a crazy year. It's been super huge. We've done a lot this year. I'm going to do a video talking about that, maybe a separate video, an end of the year roundup kind of video, because I don't think you guys realize just how much content I put out last year over the, across all my channels. It has been insane so i don't know i might do a video talking about that a little bit i, I wanted to do this really cool like video like kind of like a, a a rewind video or something but rewind videos take rewind time and uh yeah i don't know i might just do a, a maybe a new year's live stream or something like that i don't know let me let me know what you guys want and uh, maybe we'll do something cool to to uh usher in the new and to to uh celebrate the old or something i don't know so it's got a lot of cool things happening though we're gonna get into a lot of cool stuff in 2020 and i can't wait to tell you guys to share it with you and uh anyways we, we we'll talk about that later for now let's get into this video right here because this video right here is a video request from janelle and Janelle wants to hear Christine Aguilera. I always say Aguilera. I don't know Aguilera. <laughs> Aguilera. That's what it is. I always call her Aguilera. So it's like, yeah, sorry for calling you a gorilla. <laughs> Anyways, this one's called Beautiful. And I think this is a great song. She's dedicated this to her daughter. She said, for my beautiful daughter, you are well loved, sweetheart. She loves this song. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, to Janelle's daughter, I hope you enjoy this and remember yes you're beautiful and all of you out there around the world no matter where you are you are beautiful i i think you guys need to remember that when you look in the mirrors each and every day go ahead and tell yourself go ahead and say it i'm beautiful just 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 it's it's good it's okay to say that you all are beautiful in your own and very special ways okay never forget that never forget that all right let's dive into this without further ado for me oh yeah by the way i'm, I'm sitting somewhere different did you guys notice I, I i realized just how little i utilize this freaking very comfortable very cool sofa so i was like today today's the day we are getting away from the desk over there and we're come in here and we're change of scenery i even got the curtain open you guys don't even know i got the curtain open daylight shining in the daylight is is coming in natural light happening up in here come on <laughs> let's go ahead and dive in right now here we go beautiful christina aguilera we rolling don't look at me 
I just remembered I love this song. Yeah, I've heard this song too uh, a lot of times. This is a really beautiful song, no pun intended, but it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. Let's continue. Right there, that right there, a lot of people, I know you can find it relatable, you know, we all have those insecurities, those things, you know, sometimes that kind of leave us feeling some kind of way, and, and we are sometimes ashamed of some of those insecurities, especially we, we find in relationships, you know, it's easy to become very insecure in relationships, and, and or just around your peer groups you know, uh, even within yourself, you know, some of us are just naturally by design, you know, just ha always felt really insecure and unsure of ourselves. Uh, this is a crazy world. And sometimes it's hard to, to feel that, that confidence that we need, uh, that reassurance that we need. And it's, it's so easy to have those little insecurities that just kind of keep you almost like this on the edge of your your seat do you know what i mean always and it can make you feel ashamed sometimes because you're like why do i feel this way this is stupid this is this is so incredibly stupid why do i care about this some people's insecurities are crazy things like their ears or something you they've always felt like their ears are are wrong shaped for example you know or they you know so it could be a physical thing or it could be a a, a more of a mental thing you know or, or something else you know for example uh some people are insecure because they feel like the way that they present themselves isn't um something that other people will accept or you know all these little things can creep up and cause people a lot of just negative feelings you know so in those moments it is so important to remind yourself that you are beautiful and that you you you're beautiful in your own special way and and don't let anyone tell you otherwise never ever ever let anyone tell you otherwise okay love yourself and be comfortable knowing that you are beautiful yes you are and there's someone out there right now that needs to hear this i know it i know it because this is a common thing that a lot of people go through, these insecurities, these feelings of being less than. We live in a, a world where, you know, supermodels and, and freaking super skinny people and people who look like Angeline Jolly. And, you know, there's all these little things that can easily add to your insecurities you probably already had. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Forget about everything else and everyone else and different attitudes and the status quo and what is considered the norm and what anyone says about anything. No matter who you are, what you do, how you feel, anything about you that makes you uniquely you, don't let anyone else tell you that you are not beautiful, okay? I really feel strongly about that. Um, I've gone through it in my own life. I know what it's like to feel a certain amount of insecurity because you don't fit in with the mainstream norm, what's considered the norm or popular consensus of what and how a human on this planet should be or be born or be presenting themselves as or be freaking living like or be enjoying or, you know, all those etc. etc. that, you, you know, exist. Like, I'm about to do a video soon. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for her. I'm going to tell you in advance. You guys get a sneak peek. Whoever's watching this video now, you're going to sneak peek. Because the video I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you to sneak peek. I'm going to tell you exactly the video I'm going to do. In China, McDonald's is crazy, okay? Mickey D's in China is, is insanely 
crazy. They doing stuff over there that I, I just, I don't even know, man. I thought I did some crazy stuff in my restaurant. I've done some things. I've made some dishes, some food that people go, what? So let me get this straight. You wrapped bacon around your Twinkie and then you deep fried and poured maple syrup over it? Yeah, I did that. I did stuff like that in my restaurant. Okay, I gave us the cool stuff. But I never thought to come up with a burger that has freaking spam on it. Yes, spam. You know the canned food spam? Spam and Oreos with mayonnaise on the sesame seed bun. That's what they doing over there. They released it as a special thing. McDonald's, guys. McDonald's did that. Spam. <laughs> McDonald's did... I can't get my head around it. So, I'm going to do a video on that. Because I'm going to make my own Oreo and Spam burger. But I'm going to do it my way. A little bit of a twist on it. But it's going to be a McDonald's inspired by McDonald's China burger. And I'm going to do it on the video. And I've already ordered the Spam... <laughs> <laughs> the Oreos, <laughs> they're coming in my delivery tonight for my groceries. And uh, yeah, okay. We'll see what's up with this turkey and Oreo freaking... Hey, it was back to the song. I got distracted. But let's get back to this song. I'm a, matter of fact, I ain't gonna say anything else. I'm gonna let this play all the way through to the end. I'll give my final thoughts. Let's go. I am beautiful. Like when that comes in.
Oh my gosh, gosh, I love this song. It is such a beautiful song. And besides the lyrics and everything that make up the song, I mean, her vocal ability is really showcased in this song. It really just shines bright. Uh, I love these words, you know, saying things like, you know, words can't bring me down. It can't bring you down. Words can't bring you down. Think about it. Words are in words. You ever hear that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me or names will never hurt me. I forget the exact same, but you know what I mean? At the end of the day, some people can say things are very hurtful and they can actually leave you feeling some kind of way. The words can actually hit you sometimes like just a freaking dart in your face, you know? And I know because I used to get called all kinds of ugly names when I was growing up. I used to get picked on all the time. I used to be called all these stupid words. People would say all these things, ugly things. There was just a, a point where I had to learn that for myself, that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't matter what you call me, your words, your things you say, they're just words and at the end of the day, I'm not going to let them bring me down, I'm not going to let them affect me, I'm not going to let them penetrate me and leave me feeling freaking less than because I am not less than and you are not less than you are beautiful in your own beautiful way and you are beautiful matter of fact as she said here you're beautiful in every way okay every single way if you're you and you're being true to you and you're your authentic self never let anyone else take that away from you you walk proudly the walk you walk and don't let anyone bring you down for it you know what I mean so what if you like wearing a tomato like on top of your head while wearing homemade shoes you made out of mushrooms and uh, you like eating freaking uh, yeah turkey spam with oh I just revealed a secret okay fine a little sneak peek yes it's turkey spam I ordered I gotta put a little twist on it I gotta make it a little bit my mom's my signature turkey spam I decided I'm gonna go a little bit healthy with the spam <laughs> <laughs> you can't go healthy with the spam. Turkey spam. Spam is spam. Spam is processed. Spam is spam. But if it was the choice of having spam and nothing at all, uh, I would choose spam. Spam's good, by the way. I used to love spam. Growing up, spam was one of my favorite foods because my mom loved spam. We always had spam in the house. I don't know why we're talking about spam. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot. We're doing a spam Oreo cookie thing. Someone's great idea that was. It's gonna happen, it's going down. So expect that video tomorrow because I will film it tonight when my groceries come. I film it tomorrow. I gotta work up to it. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me do that tomorrow, that video. I don't like mayonnaise, so I'll give you a scoop. There will be no mayo on mine. But I'm thinking of going with mustard. Ew. <laughs> mustard, Oreo, and turkey spam it's gonna be my twist i'm not even using regular oreos i'm using chocolate the chocolate filled oreos not the vanilla filled so instead of vanilla vanilla cream it's got the chocolate cream feeling I, I had to put my own twist on it man in reality i can already kind of taste how it's going to taste because i don't see how i cannot like this i mean technically even though it's weird and something you go what who why would you do that i like spam I like Oreos. Actually, Oreos used to be my favorite cookie. You put them in the freezer, you got your Oreos in the freezer, that's the way to do it, man. They freaking the bomb. I see Oreos like crazy. I was Oreo crazy, dude. Oreo crazy. I'd eat a whole pack of Oreos in one hit. Boom, bam, gone. You know, I haven't had Oreos in a long time though. You'd be happy to know. The last time I had an Oreo, man, we're, we're talking about a year or more ago, dude. The last time I actually had an Oreo, it's been a long time. Surprisingly, because I used to eat them every day. Oreos was staple food. I loved Oreos. So this is going to be a homecoming of such, because I haven't had Spam in a long time either. We have Spam, Oreos. I like bread. I like mustard. I, I don't see how this can be a flop, man. I think this is going to be quite delicious, actually. Maybe she put some cheese on it as well. She put the cheese. I don't know. We're getting weird. Err. <laughs> Anyways, yes, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Remember it. Words to live by. And uh, I love each and every one of you guys. Remember this song. Truly remember this song. Great request, Jazzy. 
because this song right here is is one that can inspire you know it's a positive song i love songs of substance i love songs that actually have something really good to say and this song right here definitely does so thank you very much for this you all are beautiful as always remember to live each moment to the fullest and keep it off tap we're out in case I don't want to freaking fall and drop everything on film because that just sucks. Alright guys, we're going to do a little mission right now. Alright, this is just for you guys. We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! I'll catch you guys later for another vlog!